Troya Shekels was a crucial witness in a high-profile murder case, but was killed before she could testify. Today, prosecutors continued their fourth attempt to try to Juan Hammond for her murder. They played recorded police interviews that contributed to his arrest. WOKY's Marissa Alter is live outside the Judicial Center with the latest developments. Marissa? Vicki, today, Dwan Hammond's former girlfriend, Princess Bolin, took the stand again while prosecutors played hours worth of police interviews, recorded ones with her from 2011. Over time in those videos, her story changes. I should also mention the judge has asked the media not to show faces of witnesses like Bolin. In this June 2011 police interview, an emotional Princess Bolin says she knows nothing about the murder of Troya Shekels, something Detective Roy Stalvey doesn't believe. You're either in the same as a witness or you're in it as a co-defendant. Now, which one do you choose to be? A witness, of course. Okay. Well, you ain't there yet. Shuggles was supposed to testify against Lloyd Hammond in his capital murder trial. Before she could, she was shot to death in Shelby Park in March 2009. Prosecutors say to save Lloyd Hammond from prison, his older brother, Dwan Hammond, hired teenager Stephen Petway to kill her. How can I stay confidential? In the interview, Bolin eventually admits she was on her way to the park the day of the murder when Hammond asked her to look for someone. He thinks she may be with, with a dude. Bolin says she called Hammond to tell him where the woman was. I said, by the playground. He said, all right, hung the phone up, and within 15, 20 minutes, I'm hearing gunshots. In a police interview the following month, Bolin brings up two conversations she overheard, including when Lloyd Hammond called her phone asking for Dewan Hammond. He was yelling that, you know, the f against me. And he was like, you know, just tell that brother, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of everything. And that's the one telling me yes. that. Bolin tells the detective a few days after the shooting, she eavesdropped on her boyfriend on the phone again. I heard him saying that the job was done, you know, that it was taken care of. Now, on Friday, Princess Bolin repeatedly said on the stand that she didn't recall any of those previous statements to police. The defense, meanwhile, contends that witnesses like Bolin were coerced into implicating Hammond in their statements by the lead prosecutor and lead detective. Now, Bolin remains on the stand at this hour as prosecutors continue to play those recorded police interviews. She'll be back on the stand here tomorrow as the defense begins its cross-examination. Reporting live outside the Judicial Center, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News.